Hello there, survivors, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. Today, we're back on Swaddleheim after a little break because of my holiday and then the center launch. I thought it was time to jump back into it. And we're going to start off with a little recap. I have been working on this giant castle here on top of the mountain, and um, it's time to continue that. But first, let's do a little tour of what we have so far. All right, so we got the main gate right here to enter kind of this whole platform and stuff. Then we have a little blacksmith over there as well to craft some stuff. But the main thing, of course, is this castle over here. We got a big entrance right here. But we're going to actually go over to the side and enter from here. We got a nice little inner courtyard here to get started. Um, yeah, this is like kind of Hogwarts inspired the whole thing. Uh, first by accident and now a little bit more on purpose but yeah we got this nice courtyard with these arches and some amazing views of the surrounding area as well and i've actually added a couple of details with custom cosmetics these are the gothic custom cosmetics for some cool decorations so now we have the gargoyles all over the place as cool little details which really work very well for this in my opinion and then I've got this Klinger bridge from the Klinger Rustic mods. And then, yeah, we got some, some cool hanging bridge from one side to the other side. So I finally could cross this big gap that is here in the middle, which I couldn't do with normal structures. But yeah, now I finally was able to do it, which is really, really cool. And then we got the main castle here. I've been adding a small amount of details to get started. Some, some banners. I've got the teleporter to connect to my bases. And then, yeah, we've got more gargoyles over here. I'm going to definitely use more of those around the place because they are really, really cool ways of detailing it. And we've got the main big hall that I definitely need to start working on. The inside, we do have some power now as well, so I can slowly also start using this as my proper base. Um, I've got the Iron Throne. It's not the best-looking texture, but... You know, it's fun. It's it's cool enough. I don't know if I'll keep it around. Probably not, but just to get started a little bit. And then we got here the big ass tower that I definitely need to start decorating and actually finish building because it's kind of bland. But uh, yeah, I decided to do the transmitter in here so that I can easily travel back and forth to the other servers in the cluster. Uh, makes life a little bit easier. And then we've got a classroom over here. To connect with and then we got the main path here connecting off to different ways we got like a hallway up here with connections to another classroom or below the other one that we just saw so yeah there's another layer here and i think we can go down even more for another little classroom and then down here again we're back into the main corridors here we've got a smaller courtyard down there Got some towers that I still need to finish and connect up to the different layers so you can actually go up and down everywhere. And then here, this will be a connecting hallway to another big part of the castle. And this is actually the last remaining part of the castle that I still need to shape out. So kind of decide what the shape is going to be and what it's going to look like. And that will connect up to this part. We'll have a side way to go there. We'll have a connection here to a bigger courtyard, which will also be my dino pen to house some of the most often used dinos. And it's got a whole lot of staircases to go back into all the hallways that I've got going on around. So this is a hallway that connects up. This also connects up to the bridge over here. And then here we got another big tower here on the corner. That's one of the main entrance towers that you could see. You've got a stairway to go all the way up if you would want to. With a giant room here at the top of the tower connecting above the main gate to the other side of the tower, of course. And then this, of course, connects back into the courtyard if we wanted to. Or we can take another hallway and connect like this. we got some great views of the map here as well. Uh, this is going to be great once I get my hands on some Maywings for sure. And then this is going to be another big tower. And then we got the hallway to the last remaining piece of the castle that I still need to shape out. But yeah, it's definitely 
been a giant project it's got a uh, giant structure limit as well i had to raise it from 10,000 to 15,000 so far uh but it's been fun it's been really fun to work on and i'm finally ready to start working on it again so if you got suggestions of things that it should definitely still add to the castle definitely let me know in the comments down below and then um, yeah i think it's time to get some work done okay i actually want to go and explore the world a little bit because if you didn't know i host a community cluster with the island scorched earth and the center but recently i've decided to open up this world to the people of my cluster as well they do have to solve a riddle before they can actually enter the server because i'm not just giving them the password just yet that will be available in time but for now i figured it might be a cool easter egg they have to search for the password on the center and then if they find it they can join it and now i know someone has found it and he has already joined so i am going to see if he already actually built something i know his rough last whereabouts i think he was somewhere over on this side of the map so i'm taking out grape the gigantoraptor that i got from someone off my cluster and uh yeah i figured it was time for another red venture with grape um he is the best somewhat flyer that i have in my arsenal so it's easy to go quite far from my base and um he is decently strong so you know i think i think we we should be fine i hope i think i don't know we'll see anyway i think this is where i last spotted him actually whoa there's a unicorn there as well look at that lovely so i know he was in this area somewhere i saw him somewhere here and um yeah he's been uh, the first and as far as i know he's the only one so far who's found the password and also has the mod i guess because this is the premium map so you do have to of course buy the mod what is this is this something is this like an artifact cave or is this just oh this it's dark let's see what this is oh there's a torch oh why is there an Assassin's Creed logo? Well... That's somewhat decent. Okay, luckily I brought a shotgun and it's somewhat strong. Okay. I think I got most of it. But yeah, why is the Assassin's Creed logo here? Um, Alright. Seems like this could be a base. I don't know if these are... They aren't usable. But if you can build here, that would, that would be quite a fun base, I guess. I guess this is a tease for his next map because I think he's making now a, a Greek map very much inspired by Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So maybe this is kind of like a tease for that. You know? Anyway, it's a pretty cool location, I suppose. All right. Uh, anyway, that's a cool little Easter egg, I suppose. But um, not really what I was looking for right now. Now, I don't know if he was just like getting tames here or actually going to set a base here i guess this is a pretty decent area to get started the beach is one of the spawn points and it's relatively safe here so perhaps i mean i guess following these roads might be a good good shout like that's what i would do i guess Mm, but I also think following the beach, because I mean, I followed the beach. I, I also don't know for sure if he actually made a base, but... Oh, no, well, actually, yeah, I should just go to my base. Uh, I've got a base over there at the uh, awesome biome, but it looks like 
He did, in fact, already make a nice starter base. That's pretty decent. Old Dino Pen. Army of Raptors. That's pretty good. That's a good start. It's been like a day or something, I think, since he was able to join. So, yeah, that looks good. Nice starter home here. It's kind of weird for me. I've been playing on this world on and off uh, for a while now, you know. And um, it's always just been me. I actually always just turned off the server in between sessions. But now, now it's just on. Now things can start to change. And at least someone is here. So yeah, who knows? We might encounter people during our travels. We might see cool builds all of a sudden. That's kind of exciting. And if you do want to play the premium version of Swartalfheim and you're looking for a cool cluster, I guess now you can join us. Um, there's no item or dino transfers yet, so people do start fresh, but they can transfer their character if they already are playing on our cluster. But um, yeah, if you, you're looking for a cool place or you just want to check out my builds, because if we go a little bit further this way, we get to the Japanese castle and stuff that I made over there in the Blossom Biome, all the way over there. And of course, then my big castle that I'm working on right now. Um, we'll be continuing that build, of course. Next time, I hopefully will have some more progress done again. Um, you know, just needed to get back into the world, refamiliarize myself with what I have been doing. I've started a little bit of the decorations and uh, yeah, definitely want to maybe do that and combine that with more building because I, I, made, it, I made it very big, maybe too big which is it's difficult to make it detailed in one setting so i think going back and forth between building new uh, new places or new new parts of the castle and actually decorating the parts that i already have might be a very good shout so yeah make sure you follow along if you want to stay up to date with the whole process of this cool castle and uh, yeah if you're looking for a place to play swartfheim you could uh, you could join me if you want to and we also have an amazing community on the other maps as well so it's pretty cool cluster to join if i say so myself anyway i think that's going to be it for this video i'm back on sport of i'm i'm excited to get this going again and yeah i can't wait to continue my work on my giant castle here on the top of the mountain Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you have any ideas or suggestions that I need to add to my castle or details that I need to have, please do let me know and then hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.